Shalom and salut, everybody. Question of the day is, why should we make our coaching comments, feedback to others, private, instead of putting it on social media? The negative comments, coaching on social media. Oftentimes, we see comments, really negative comments on social media, in a crowd, with other people. But we aren't doing it directly to the people that, you know, that this is concerning. I want to say that it's not, I'm making this a topic and I think it's important because it is those comments put those individuals down. It makes them, it, it, those comments make them question themselves. They don't want to do it anymore. They want, they, it make them hate themselves. It takes their confidence away. So I want us to, to start. We may be coming from a good place. We may just be trying to help this person. Generally want to help this person. But unfortunately, if you really want to help that person, the method of delivery, it's important. The timing is important. The crowd, the environment you do it at, it's important. If you truly want to help that person grow and, be, and do better, and you don't choose the right timing, the right place, the right environment, the right method, your goodness is going to turn into negativity. It's going to be the opposite of what you're trying to do. Because we all think, we take comments and, and feedback differently. Everybody's different. But one thing that I know, if you call somebody on one-on-one -on -one and you give them feedback, they're going to take it differently. It's going to, it's a game changer when you do it that way. So I want us, if we blast other people on social media with our comments, just to bring them down because they look certain way, they say something, they missing something. If we do, we are doing that and we really just want to help them, please think about the method of delivery. Think about the, the environment, the timing. The crowd, where you are saying those, those, you know, your comment, what you are putting it at. Think about it. Instead of doing it that way, call that person. Reach out to that person. Tell them you want to talk to them. There are plenty of ways for you to reach out to that person. Whether that person a family member, non-family member, a public person, somebody you don't know. You still, there's still ways to reach out to that person and tell them, just tell them what you know. Give them coaching. Because you're helping them grow. And that's all we want. We want to support one another, help one another, be there for one another, love one another. If somebody have a confidence to go and do a movie or, or, or put something some, somewhere and do something for themselves and you think you can help them, help them. Don't put them down. Don't shut them down. Let's uplift one another. Uplift one another. Support one another. Instead of bringing everybody, bringing everybody down. I learned this from the act of the apostle, chapter 18. Aquila and Priscilla, they were in the synagogue. They were uh, the followers. They were the companion of Paul. They were in the synagogue. And this guy was preaching the gospel boldly. He thought he knew everything. He was preaching boldly. But Aquila and Priscilla realized that the guy didn't really know Jesus. He didn't know everything. He only know a little bit. But he was, he's a believer. He was preaching the gospel. Instead of shouting and saying, hey, you, 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 are, you are wrong. You did this wrong. No, they waited until he finished. And then they pulled him aside. And taught him Jesus more perfectly. And he learned. So when I read that passage, I'm like, okay, so even back then, they knew that the best way to give feedback, to give comment and coaching is to do it in private. So I learned ever since, and I'm inviting you to practice this with me. If you have a general comment, conversation, or coaching, anything that you want to give to somebody, your kids, your family members, no, people you don't, you don't know, whoever they are, find a way to reach out to them and talk to them on one-on-one -on -one in private. 
Make your comment, your feedback private. It is very effective. That's the only effective way to help somebody grow, to help somebody do better, to help somebody have their confidence. So tell them in person, in private, and let them go correct themselves, whatever it is they did wrong. Or if they need to change something next time, let them do it. Help them do it. Will you? Will you join me in going forward when you have something to say about something, about somebody? Would you, instead of saying it everywhere else, would you call that person and talk to them on one-on-one -on -one in private? Will you?